Step seven, you have selected a list of candidates that you want to contact and now it's time to actually get the place and contact the landlords slash brokers that are in charge. Um, before you approach them, try to make clear whether you're dealing with a private landlord that's just renting their own building um, or maybe even the previous tenant. Um, so someone who's more private, who's not as professional, or if you're dealing with a broker or a professional real estate agency. In the first case, so if you're dealing with a private landlord or a tenant, um, you can be much more personable. Um, it's important to establish uh, like a good chemistry between um, the two of you because most likely that's what they'll base their decision on, um, if they like you or not. Um, if you're dealing with a broker or a, a bigger rental company, they care much more about documents. Um, the chemistry still helps, but um, just know that you have to be aware of office hours um, if you're calling and um, also the way you approach them should be should be in a professional manner um, and maybe a little less cordial than you could do with a previous tenant. How do you contact them? Um, I highly suggest that you call. Um, if you're already in Germany, then that's no problem. Um, if you're outside of Germany, then um, just download Skype and get a flat rate for calls to Germany for um, it's three or four euros shouldn't be that expensive and then you can make phone calls through your phone um, through the internet or through your laptop um, very easy because this will give you a big advantage most people are afraid to pick up the phone and if you're willing to actually speak to them um, you already have one foot in the door you stick out of the masses and um, this will make it a lot easier to get that apartment visit and don't forget that's why you're contacting them that's your next goal um, is to be invited to an apartment visit if you um, call them and you don't speak any German um, maybe it's a good idea to have a friend of yours call you if you don't have any friends that speak German that can call for you um, then don't be afraid Many people in Germany will speak English um, and especially if you're dealing with professionals, so a broker or um, a big rental company. If you run into someone who doesn't speak a lick of English, you can't communicate with them, um, then just be polite. Um, let them know if they understand it or not that you're going to contact them via email now. Um, but at least um, you've presented yourself um, make sure that you say your name, um, that they know who they're talking to, tell them you're interested um, and tell them what place you're interested in and um, ask kindly if you could go to an apartment visit. If they say, yeah, that's, that's possible um, and then they give you the date, ask them how many people um, there will be. I have seen apartment visits with 50 plus people and you arrive at the place there's a line from the second floor down to the street and it's just a waste of time you will an apartment visit like that when there's more than 15 to or 20 people um, it's basically hopeless there will be probably someone who already has a connection the landlord was just too lazy to um, talk to people individually and just listed the um, meeting point and meeting time online and it will be very very hard to get that place um, there's just too much competition I would recommend you just leave your fingers off and then hope for a small group or ideally even an individual apartment visit um, so if you try to call um, and they don't answer or if um, you don't have a phone number um, then you can still email and contact them. Um, that's your second best option and it's better than nothing. Um, I have prepared an email template for you in English and German. 
so you can conveniently contact them. Just please make sure you are personable and you stick out of the masses. Don't send the standard email um, that everyone sends. Hi, I'm interested in your place. When can I come visit? Um, when I rented out my apartment, I had about 20 to 30 of those messages every day. And if you put yourself in the shoes of the landlord, they just don't want to deal with that. They want someone who's seriously interested in their place and they don't, don't want the message that tells them you contacted 50 other places with the exact same message. So write something specific about yourself. Write something specific about the place. Um, what is it that you like about and why would it be ideal for you and why would you be an ideal tenant? Um, leave your phone number in there um, so they can call you if they're interested and ask for the meeting and the apartment visit. Again, make sure it's not a mass visit with more than 20 people. There's no point in going. Try to um, focus on places that offer small group visits and uh, you're good to go. And once you contacted all your candidates, you should have a good number of scheduled apartment visits and be ready for the next step.